Hello, my name is Master Steve, and thank you for joining us. In this video, we'll be showing you how to learn Kung Fu. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The question was how to learn Kung Fu. Now, that's kind of a confusing question. How to learn Kung Fu? Well, if you have a teacher, you're learning Kung Fu. My interpretation of this is how do I practice Kung Fu when I'm learning it from a teacher or, God forbid, a book, right? First, you want to start with structure. If you can tell from architecture right from the beginning, if you have a structured building, if the architecture is correct, the building will stay up. If the structure is incorrect, the structure will just crash down. So the first thing you want to look at is structure. Usually in any kind of Kung Fu style, the first thing you learn is stances. <laughs> Toe points in just a tad more. This is perfect. This is beautiful. You want to learn structure first. From that structure, you will learn intimate technique that goes along with it. The key thing to remember is that you want to stay relaxed and open-minded as you do it. You want to stay very relaxed. For instance, when you do a move like so, a simple little block, stay very relaxed. And remember that it's more about structure at the beginning than it is about feeling of the technique. More about structure, because with proper structure comes power. So when you practice your techniques, as you've learned them from your teacher or, God forbid, that book, you want to remember to do it slowly and relaxed. Proper structure will create a proper technique. From then on, you can add on. How do you add on from there? How do you practice from there? For some reason, it's been some kind of ancient Chinese secret. How do I practice Kung Fu? It's actually quite simple. It's called incremental training or incremental learning. You learn the horse stance at the beginning, and it's a very wide or skinny horse stance, depending upon your teacher. They create a structure. From there, they add on to that structure. You want to do that same thing with your practice. As you do one move, you want to add on another move, and then another move, and then go back to the first move and add on two more moves. But what you don't want to do is start thinking, well, I got it. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, I got it, or oh, I know it. Well, you really don't know it. You've memorized it. And, and quite honestly, you haven't memorized it all that fantastically either, or else you would be the master yourself, right? So what you want to do is you want to practice it like so. When you learn a technique, practice that one technique. When it's added, add that technique. As another technique is added, add that third technique. And I'll give you an example. You learn a punch. And from that punch comes a punch and then a block. And from that block comes another punch. Those are three movements right there. A block, or a punch, a block, and then a punch. How would you add those together? Just work on the punches at first. Incremental training. Get the proper structure. Where does it go? Then from there, add the block. Go from here, add the block. Just do it like that. It, sound, it sounds stupid and it looks dumb, but in qu quite honestly, you're neuro learning the technique and that's the perspective you want to take. Punch, block, and then go back and punch. And you add those techniques on and that's how you incrementally train your style. That's how you practice Kung Fu and that's how it works out. But for some reason, it hasn't been taught that way. And I think mostly because a lot of people are afraid that if students get this knowledge, they, might, they just might quit. But I think you and I both know that, that that's not what happens. You want to learn Kung Fu. And you want to know, how do I practice at home? This is pretty much how you practice at home. Thank you for joining us. My name is Master Steve, and that is how to learn Kung Fu.